If you ever have that experience where you really want to drink that good bottle of wine, but you know you're only going to have a glass each or half a bottle yourself and you don't want to open a good bottle because it's going to go bad and waste it, this is the opportunity for you. These bottles that we have are 375 milliliters, so they are half of a wine bottle. So what we're going to do in order to preserve near perfectly half of our choice bottle of wine, when we open our bottle, whether it's cork or screw cap, doesn't matter. The first thing we're going to do before we pour anything into our glasses or anywhere else is fill our preservation bottle. So one of the keys to doing this is to pour gently and the size of the openings, not using a funnel, encourages gentle pouring. And it is key to hold it near the middle so that light can pass through the top so you can see as it's filling. If you hold up here, which seems easier, you won't be able to see it as it approaches the top. This is best done over the sink because a couple drips are probably going to happen. And if you have a backlight over your sink, it makes it much easier to see or a window. We are using lever stoppers and the way the stoppers work is when you clamp it down, the stopper actually raises up and widens. So conceptually, we are going to fill it to a little bit above where the stopper lines up. So right about here on the bottle. So I'm going to take my newly opened bottle, my preservation bottle, and I am very gently and steadily filling the half bottle. The first time or two that you do this, it's going to feel a little awkward and a little clumsy. After you do it several times over, it goes pretty easy and pretty naturally. You could use a funnel if that was necessary for you, but I think the less that the wine is disturbed, the better, the more gentle the pour. So when we get to the very top of the bottle, if it overflows a tiny little bit, really not a big deal. If you can get it to stop right about here is good. And if you fall short and you need to put a little bit more in, that's fine also. At this point, we put the stopper in. A tiny bit of overflow is always okay. Clamp it down, rinse off the bottle. Let that sit on the drying towel for a minute or so just to drip the bottle. Then you have exactly two glasses worth for tonight, for yourself or to share. If you are interested in keeping track and want more options for preserving these, we have three packs of the bottle stoppers in white, red, and black, either for a white wine, a red wine, and another wine, or increasing darknesses of the red wine so that you can keep track. Some people actually like to open several bottles at a time in a night to compare, and it wastes a lot of the wine. This is a great way to capture those, and these wines stay good for at least a few days, if not a few weeks, or somewhat indefinitely. If you're also just looking for one bottle and only need one stopper, we have these individual white ones also. So that is what I have for today, and encourage you to Get used to using these because it really is quite pleasant and works extremely well as long as the bottles are poured first. Last note is immediately after pouring your glasses of wine that you're going to have at home, immediately upon emptying the bottle, just rinse it out in the sink a couple times over, rinse off the stopper, and those are good to go for next time. Thank you, have a great day.